Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the International number 3010-JO. This is a JO type offset top arm assembly and how this uh, works is realistically you're going to have your arm um, connected to your track. So here's your arm and this is in the aluminum finish. The arm is going to connect to the slide block. Okay. As that door pivots out, you know, it's going to hit the integrated spring stop that's here as well. That slide block will. And an arm like this is used when you have a independently hung door that has a overhead concealed closer that would otherwise be a center hung type closer. So when you have a door that's hung on pivots, most likely, uh, perhaps butts or a continuous hinge, um, but you still have a concealed closer where the spindle comes down literally into the center of the thickness of the door, you need to be able to translate that mounting point or that connection point from the door to the closer spindle, then this offset style arm does that. Okay, um, a very com incredibly common type of closer, uh, and it's advantageous because you get it mostly concealed, um, basically thoroughly concealed. Especially, of course, when the door is closed, it would be, you know, why to have it independently hung and not just have the closer itself and a bottom pivot operating that door? Well, quite frankly, because a center hung closer requires some different considerations to the door and frame. When you have that door, you know, pivoted in the center of the door, you know, you've got a different concern in terms of the size of the door uh, because of the fact that a center hung door is usually radius around the edge. Uh, you sometimes, you know, needing to deal with a cased opening frame or you're dealing with an unusual frame uh, where you have a, a stop that's been applied. So sometimes just independently hanging the door, pivots, butts, continuous hinge, solves the problem of hanging the door, allows you to conceal the closer, and um, then, then use an offset arm like this JO arm to translate between um, the fact that you have an otherwise center hung piece of hardware, the closer. So this video will serve as a visual review of this unit um, and then we'll look at the installation instructions as well some dimensions right now overall length of the track and the top of the door looks like it's about 15 and a quarter width of the track about 7 8 height of the track about 3 quarter um, again that's going to include the slide block and you can buy that slide block separately that part number is 3020-JO and there is a link below this video to the replacement slide block very typical, very common for those to be replaced. It's a piece of plastic, and after enough use, enough hundreds of thousands of cycles, everything will fatigue and ultimately need to be replaced, whether it be a piston in a car or you know a hammer that you use or a slide block in your closer. Everything wears as does this. Now the offset arm, it's gonna have an overall length of right at about 13 inch, the width of this arm just shy on one inch, and the thickness, about 5 sixteenths. Total weight is 2.07 pound. Obviously, this is what's going to connect to the spindle coming out of the closure body, completely non-handed and reversible. It's also going to include the package of screws for getting it connected to, basically, the track to the top of the door is what this uh, is what's going to be in here. Um, now, let's switch to the screen view and take a closer look at the supporting documentation. Okay, so here is the item that we are looking at, the 3010JO offset arm. So you might say, well, when am I going to use this arm? I don't know if I need this arm or a different arm. Well, quite frankly, if you have a concealed overhead closer that's otherwise center hung, and, and you have a 9 16th depth top rail, okay, this is probably the arm that you need. And of course, independently hung. Your doors hung on hinges, 
pivots, continuous hinge, things of that nature. Used for the 200, 300, 500 series closers. Okay, very typical and common item. There is a link here to the correct slide block that you require. Let's take a look at the uh, cut sheet first. This happens to be a cut sheet of the 200 series, but the others are uh, the same in the sense that they're the similar type. Offset hung doors, single acting, J-O and V-O type top arms are available for butt hinge or offset pivot applications. Okay, so there's a J-O and a V-O they're talking about. What's the difference? Well, what the difference is going to be exclusively is, first of all, the tracks are different. The size of the tracks are different. You can see in an end view here, our J-O is square-like. The V-O is rectangular. But the payoff for us, 9 16 depth top rail versus 7 8 So how deep is that top rail? That's going to put you into the proper um, direction in terms of which arm that you need. Assuming that you're looking at a video on an arm only, you're probably replacing an arm only. Now when it comes to the other arms that are for a center hung closer, of course you have the type that will permit it to be center hung. S, A, K, and P, T type. And really it's the arm style. This would be called a side load. This would, these would be called end loads. All three of them would be called end load. Um, with these closers, you can uh, generally take uh, the door by means of what's happening here. And you can see a little reference to it, a couple of little holes here and here. There are, and if you see screws on the face of the door, when you have a, let's just say we're dealing with an aluminum frame with a blade stop, um, and you have your closer, that's awful. <laughs> a little better. You have your closer, you know, sitting over here, and you've got that um, spindle. you'll have your arm in the top of the door. There'll be some screws that will come from here and here. And as you turn those, okay, you can take this arm and you can cant it this way or this way, meaning you're taking the door and canting it in or out. That's how you'll adjust that. With an independently hung VO or JO, you of course would have no need for that sort of control over it. Um, but that's what those uh, little screw preps are there for, to be able to tip that door in and out to adjust it correctly. And then of course what you would need is a bottom pivot, and there are different types of those as well. Everything, you know, has everything to do with how the bottom of the door is prepped in terms of how deep that rail is. So you'd want to investigate these. These are brackets that will allow you to install the closer body up into the header. One will go back here, the other will screw to the edge here, okay? But we're dealing with just the arm, and here we go. So two primary types, I can't say which we sell more, we sell them both. Um, I can't say because I don't, I don't recognize a pattern of one being more common than the other. I, we do sell both of them. Now, installation instructions are indeed included with the hardware, and we're going to take a brief view of them now. Uh, first of all, when you're looking at the installation instructions, you're going to notice I've put a match line here and here. On page two of the installation instructions, they match up with that match line. Okay, so too long to scan all in one document. But you can see where they match, they line up. Now, I'm going to give you an overview of what it looks like from a um, plan perspective. There's your closer body up in the header, your offset arm. That works just swell. Obviously, your pivot point would be over here. Gives you dimensions, which we've provided. Because it's because of the type of arm that you're dealing with, your door is going to have to be prepped, of course, to uh, receive the fact that you have a large arm that's going to have to encroach out of the stop of the header itself. So there's going to be some custom preparation in the face of the door. 
They use two notches to allow the arm to slide out. And then of course the stop will have to be prepped to receive that as well. Section YY, it's going to be over here. That's what a cross section YY looks like. XX, let's look at both of those. Here is YY, let's scroll down. Yeah, here is YY. That's what it'll look like in your door. And then XX from the other perspective, looking down towards where the installed spring would be, looking towards the hinge jam. Installation. Uh, first, if you're doing a new preparation, these installation instructions are going to tell you where to place uh, the door closer arm. It's going to be crucial to be able to have A and B dimensions along with D determined. Dimension A, face of jam to center line of spindle. Um, you know, I would say that that would be from the uh, pivot jam to the center line of the spindle. That you have to know. Dimension D, pivot or hinge side of header to the center line of spindle must be maintained regardless of header width. All spacers and or anchors other than standard F clip packaged by others. So, you know, if you're not ordering, if you're not using the anchoring for the closer body according to the manufacturer, what they're, I guess they're saying is you're on your own. Um, route out the top web of the door as shown for the slide channel. Spacers as required. Route inside face of top rail as shown for the arm. Offset pivots or butts by others. So prep the top of the door. Prep the face of the door is what they're saying. Independent hanging devices not included. Get the closer put up into the header. Install the ch uh, channel in the top rail. Uh, insert slide into slide channel with the end marked 90 degree towards the hinge side. If 90 degree backstop closure is used or with end marked 105 toward hinge side of door. So what, you know, th that's just going to be the spring side. That's always going to go towards the hinge. And your slide block travels in here. Now, here are the important A, B, uh, D, and now C dimensions. And that's all based on how you are hanging the door. Standard butt hinge, 3 quarter inch offset, 5 eighths offset. Now what's a 5 eighths offset? Well, that's when you have, uh, in, in, the, in the world of aluminum doors, the door can be flush with the face of the frame or it can be inset an eighth of an inch. It's quite easy to spot that because when you run your hand over the face of the door and the face of the frame from the pull side, um, it's either flush or it's inset. Um, it's, it's moved into the frame a little bit. Or if you're dealing with butts, and I would surmise a continuous hinge, you'd be over in this uh, uh, matrix, 105 degree or 90, depending on what closure you have and the degree of opening, that's where you will place everything. A, B, C, and D dimensions. Pretty simple and straightforward in terms of how you prep everything. If there are any questions on how to prep that, feel free to reach out to me. I have prepped steel doors and wood doors for, uh, frankly, every imaginable piece of hardware that there is, um, and would would you know have built wood doors for concealed vertical rod devices. Feel free to reach out to us. Now below this video is a link to the manufacturer's page right here, and from that link you'll be able to review not only all of the international products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation, a link to the manufacturer's website, and links to the uh, most current and probably prior product catalogs as well. The name International is certainly synonymous with door closers, exit devices, um, hanging devices for aluminum storefront, and several other products. Uh, it's, if you deal in, if you're a locksmith, if you're a handyman who kind of focuses on commercial hardware, if you're a distributor, uh, if you're someone who services the material, I would find it unlikely that you've never encountered the name International, especially when it comes to a closer uh, and a surface closer. But as you can see, they have a full complement of hardware, 400 pages worth. And they have material in here that you may, if you're familiar with International, you may not know that they have. 
some of this material. They're going to get into automatic material. They're going to get into revolving door material, weather stripping, uh, etc. Okay. Let's wrap up this video on camera. In conclusion, why would you use international products? Well, I mean, you, you're probably looking at this because you've inherited an installation that has international. But the, but the objective points regarding international is that they usually have quite deep inventory. Their customer service department has proven to be of late quite responsive. And they get the material shipped out. They do have a minimum order requirement. So sometimes getting smaller orders fulfilled requires that we put it on our weekly stock order. So be mindful, purchasing one slide block will likely have a lead time uh, if we don't keep it on hand. So be mindful of that, but if you're ordering closers and, and the like, that material ships pretty quickly from them. Uh, any questions on the International? This is their part number 3010-JO offset arm or any other international product. Please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you. If you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up. Please click subscribe as well and even share the video with someone that you know. And if you have any questions for a future video, please send them our way and we will make every attempt to oblige. And thank you very much.